Hey everybody, this is Spencer Defense Training, DefenseTraining.org, Facebook, Max Life Defense Training. Uh, give us a like if you haven't done so over on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, this is in the series we've been doing, working on the Muscle Mem Memory Monday Building Series. Um, and I wanted to add a couple things to it or show you something uh, that I haven't really went over in the series. I've showed you how to, you know, how to start defending yourself, how to start building up uh, muscle memory for defending yourself. What I haven't showed you... Um, yeah, I've got my target right here. This is the basic targets I use. This is the Marines Dare target. Uh, and the reason I use them is because at the range I can see the shots better. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I use them. Another reason that I use them, uh, it kind of gives me a circle basically in the center of mass. And then you can aim this rectangle. Uh, and this is basically what we do. We shoot for center of mass. Um, what is center of mass? Center of mass is the center uh, of the biggest portion of the body you can see, the center of the biggest portion of mass of the body you can see. So, on this target, between this guy's shoulders, this is the center of, this is the biggest portion of that I can see. Uh, and you can tell, a lot of people say, well, I'm going to do a headshot. Well, this headshot, uh, especially in a situation, you're probably not going to be able to make it anyway. It's a whole lot smaller and it's moving. Uh, so I, I don't really work on headshots. I don't really do headshots. Uh, it's too difficult, uh, especially when I can shoot center of mass. Uh, I can shoot for a bigger uh, area uh, that allows me more room for error. Uh, we are human. Uh, can we train up to the point where we could take headshots? Yes, you can. Uh, there are guys out there, but for the most average individual, uh, you're not going to get to that point anyway. Um, so, we shoot for center of mass, uh, and that just depends on what we see. Now, uh, typically in, in a robbery or a mugging, they're, they're going to be uh, uh, skinnier, I guess, uh, because they're going to be on drugs. Most people that are doing all this stuff are on drugs. Now, that's not, uh, that's not uh, all the time. There are exceptions to the rule. Uh, so, you might have a big guy. Uh, he might have, you know, his shoulders may not be... Uh, the widest portion. His stomach may be the widest portion. Well, if his stomach's the widest portion, that's the center of mass. Uh, so, can you take a stomach shot? There's a lot of people saying, oh, no, 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 you can't do that uh, because you're not going to hit the heart or you're not going to hit the lungs and that's what's going to stop them. Uh, that's not true. Uh, heart and lungs will not stop them in an attack fast enough. I am not shooting for heart and lungs when I shoot this. This is not what I'm shooting for. There's only three places on the human body that can stop a person in an attack at the time that they need to be stopped. Now, if I shoot them anywhere else outside of these three places, let's say I shoot the heart, will they eventually bleed out and die? Well, yes, they will. Will that eventually stop them? Yes, they will. Eventually. I'm wanting to stop them now. Uh, so, uh, deer hunters, you ever shot a deer and had to go chase that deer even though you shot his heart? Yeah, it's happened. Uh, they bled out eventually, but not after you had to chase them for 100, 200 yards, maybe further. Uh, so, what I'm aiming for when I shoot at my target is honestly is the center of what I see. So if I've got here, I'm shooting for the center. Now what is in this center right here is their spine. If you hit their spine, they will stop. It will take their legs out from under them. You know, you got what the C4, C5. If I hit that and below, somewhere in here. Uh, so basically, somewhere high chest level to about here, they will fall because their legs go out from under them. They won't have any use anymore. And from about here to here, uh, their C4, C5 up uh, to the back of their neck where the spine meets, it will take their arms and legs out. So I'm actually aiming for their spine. That is all I'm aiming for. Now, when I shoot in the torso of the body, uh, I am aiming for the spine. I am not aiming for anything else because I do know that if I hit that spine, they will stop. And that's what I'm trying to do is stop my attacker. Uh, so, I aim for here. So if they're bigger here in the stomach, guess what's in the center of the stomach? The spine. And as well as this is actually a softer tissue, so I might have more luck hitting that spine. I'm not going to get into the caliber debate. I don't care what caliber you carry. Do I think there are better calibers than others in the long run? Yes, I do. Uh, my favorite caliber of all is the 357, whether it's SIG or Magnum. They both put up really good ballistics as far as a ballistic gel block. 
uh, but that is not what I carry. I carry a nine millimeter. Uh, why do I carry a nine millimeter? Because uh, one reason, uh, ammunition is fairly cheap. Uh, another reason is I, it's got decent recoil. I can handle the recoil. Uh, the nine millimeter holds more rounds than say the 40 and 45 in the same size gun. Uh, you know, I carry a, uh, my, my little compact gun. Uh, it holds 12 rounds, 12 plus one, so I've got 13 rounds. Uh, where the 40, uh, now the 40 granted would hold eight or 10 rounds, uh, and then the 45 would hold eight rounds. Uh, so, and I don't care which one of those firearms you have, if I hit him right here, or even if I hit him right here, or right here, uh, if I don't hit that spine and I'm in a close quarter attack, I haven't stopped him. He's still going to be able to stab me. He's still going to be able to do me harm. And I don't care what caliber you have. But if I hit them in the spine, and I have more chances with the more ammo I have on me to hit them in that spine, to stop them. Uh, now, as I said, there's three different places. The spine, yes. The head, of course, but that's way too hard to hit really anyway, so I don't even worry about a head. And the hips. You ever seen somebody break a hip? Have you ever seen a football player running down the field, get tackled or whatever, and break a hip? He goes... Uh, falls down or an old elderly person, they break a hip, they fall down. Same thing with anybody. If you hit that hip and you take that hip out from them, they're going to fall. So that would stop the attack. Uh, and so what I typically do when I shoot, uh, when I shoot my t at my target or if I have to shoot an attacker, I'm going to sit, I actually shoot high chest. I sit, send two down range, boom, boom, high chest, and if they haven't stopped, I continue to fire. Now as I continue to fire, I actually start going down uh, while I fire. The reason I go down is, well there's several reasons, but one of the reasons I go down is if I'm, if I'm shooting boom, 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 and I haven't stopped them, something's going on as to why I haven't stopped them. Maybe they're uh, all PCP'd up, they're up on some kind of uh, drugs that are just making them more superhuman, uh, or maybe they've got a bulletproof vest on and it's not going to do me a bit of good of shooting them here anyway. Maybe they're on drugs and have a bulletproof vest on. Uh, so shooting them in here is not doing me any good unless say I can't get that headshot. Let's say I am at a close quarter attack and I, you know I pushed him off and I've got my gun out and I'm shooting him and he's just not stopping and he's still fighting. Uh, well, bulletproof vest usually stop right about here. So if I can get down to the hips and I can hit the hip, guess where he's going? He's going down to the ground. So even though he had a bulletproof vest on, I was able to take him down. Uh, so it would be boom, 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 and he would fall. Um, there's a lot of myths and misconceptions about uh, caliber and all this good stuff. Uh, so do I suggest you carry a 22? Um, I don't care what kind of caliber you carry. Uh, the one thing you want to look out for the 22, as far as it, since it is a rim fire, you need to get a good 22 round if that's what you're going to carry. Uh, and I do suggest if you're going to carry a 22, carry something you know that has 10 rounds. Um, more ammo you have, the better off you are. Uh, as far as uh, the other lower calibers, uh, 22 Magnum puts up great uh, ballistics. It's really actually a really good uh, uh, small caliber round. Uh, 25 and 32 I don't really like. I don't care if you carry them or not, that's fine. Uh, but actually a 22 long rifle puts up better ballistics than the 25 and 32 anyway. Uh, so I would actually say if you don't want the 22 or 22 Magnum, uh, if you can't handle a, a 9 millimeter up, you know, a 9 to 45, uh, I would suggest you go to maybe a 38 Special or a 380. Um, the 380, in all honesty, is the same size bullet. It's just not as hot uh, as a 9 millimeter. Uh, so uh, what we're looking for is we're looking to shoot the spine. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm not aiming for anything else. Uh, so boom, 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 boom is how I do it. Uh, now there is a couple of uh, programs going on in the military. They're actually studying, starting in the stomach and riding muzzle flip or muzzle rise, riding the muzzle rise up. So it would be boom, 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 boom. And they're actually aiming for the same thing. It does a lot of damage in the internal organs here, but if they can hit that spine, that's what takes them down. Uh, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a spine shot. That's the, a spine or a hip, something that actually stop them. Uh, I'm not looking to kill my attacker, I'm looking to stop my attacker. Uh, now you need to come to reality, is the attacker probably going to die after you shoot him? There's, there's a high probability that he will, uh, but that's not my job and that's not my goal. My goal is just to stop him. Uh, so just bringing this to you as far as where we shoot uh, and why we shoot them there um, and, and how you need to train. Uh, so hope this uh, 
enlighten you a little bit of why we train the way we train. Uh, we are going for a spine or a hip shot. Uh, you know, unless they get super close and I'm fighting them down here, I might have to go for a head shot, but for the most part, I don't go for a head shot. Uh, so it would be spine or hips. Uh, again, this is Spencer. Stay safe, stay armed.